who paints pictures of boxers and girls and skiers and girls and swimmers and more girls. A very talented artist who you have seen his work in various national magazines. The very talented Mr. Leroy Neiman. <laughs> and from Los Angeles, California, a man who despite injuries this past season had a great season. Let's give a warm welcome to the magical Magic Johnson. Trevor Burbick is the champion of Canada. Burbick having one loss tomorrow, an otherwise perfect record, but that was a one-round knockout at the hands of Bernardo Mercado. Round one, heavyweight championship here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And Burbick comes right after Larry Holmes. Burbick has said time and again that his idol is Ken Norton, and he has in the past tried to emulate Norton's sort of peekaboo defense. The kind of fighter Burbick is, he must... Uh, carry the fight to Larry Holmes. Holmes is going to move, fire a couple of rounds, and get the feel of Burbick. Burbick has a very awkward style, and uh, he possesses some somewhat punching ability. Now you saw Burbick taunting Larry Holmes. That's one of those things that you sit up at night after the fight and say, why did I do that? Larry Holmes, possessor of certainly the best left jab in the game right now, and comparable to those down the line of the great heavyweight champions, too. In fact, people have said that his left jab is as good as most people's left hook. You notice where Burbick stance is. He's very awkward, and he's really off balance a lot of times. And uh, the only way he really can score effectively if he gets inside with Larry Holmes. Well, so far, Burbick is not tempted to do so, and Holmes remains at long range. Good right hand to the face that time by Larry Holmes. Quick left jab. Very, very effective. Oh, baby! Herbert again drops his hands, taunting Larry Holmes. And I don't know. <laughs> That's the wrong thing Berber can be doing now against a guy like Larry Holmes. Holmes is far too quick and, uh, and carries a good punch. What Berber should be doing is trying to get the fancy of the crowd and the judges. We're in the first round heavyweight championship here in Las Vegas. Larry Holmes on the left of your screen, the challenger Trevor Burbick on the right. Holmes 
playing just a bit of a waiting game now, waiting for Burbick to come at him. Good left hand for chest that time by Larry Holmes. Brings Burbick's arms down just for a moment. Burbick, a couple of lefts, one to the stomach, one to the side of the head. Burbick continues in that peekaboo, almost defenseless, defenseless position. Does not seem to bother Larry Holmes at all. Well, uh, to the degree, right, it works. The little intimidation, the taunt, and that, what have you, plays a part especially against the champion, because all champions hate to be shown up. Now, Larry Bonds tried that against you, as I recall, that was in the 10th and final round of the fight. <laughs> yeah, it really bothered me for a while. We're in the first round here in Las Vegas. I'm going to have a chance to hear some of the conversations in the corners between rounds. I think you'll find it to be very fascinating. Again, Burbick asks Larry Holmes to come at him. And you can hear Burbick talking to him. And I think maybe he got to Larry Holmes a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he might have got to him a little bit. I think he did. I was saying earlier, all champions hate to be shown up. And uh, the little intimidation that Burbick did, it, it bothered Larry Holmes. And you can see the results of that. Team's dropping, Larry Holmes corner. Too much noise right here over that that unusual incident in the ring. I've never seen anything quite like it. But I think something should be stated here that about midway through that round, or perhaps two-thirds through that round, there was a change in tactics. And Burbick, instead of becoming the, the sole aggressor, suddenly stood his ground and invited Holmes to come to him and try to land a sweeping left hook. Holmes would rather not have to do the leading, and after he caught him, that's when Burbick, Burbick started to say, here I am, sucker, come and get me. Well, we've talked about the psychology of the sport of boxing in the past, and you saw a little bit of it right there. Let's see how it affects both men. Trevor Burbick was the taunter, Larry Holmes was the taunty. but Larry Holmes is the champion. Right hand lead by Holmes, comes up a little short. Holmes is going to have problems with a guy like Burbick, because Burbick, you really don't know what he's going to do. He has a inside left hook. It doesn't really come roundhouse. It comes over and up, over and in. And uh, <laughs> I think it's going to bother Holmes for a while. Larry Holmes' left jab is picked off by the gloves of Trevor Burbick for the most part. Burbick goes upstairs and downstairs with the left hand. Holmes' the left hook comes up short. Burbick continues to taunt it. Burbick, a man with 20 professional fights. He's won his last four by knockout, so the, those all came with three of them coming after the John Tate fight. And there is a right hand that staggers Trevor Burbick. Best punch of the fight by far here in round two. Burbick comes back at the champion. Burbick's still a little wobbly, and Holmes realizes this. He's doing the right thing, and this shows cha uh, a champion's caliber, experience. He's just playing with him, waiting for another good shot. It was an overhand right to the cheek of Trevor Burbick, scored cleanly and wobbled the challenger's legs. Remember, Larry Holmes has scored eight knockouts in a row. Good stiff left jab right on the butt. The kind of punch that Larry Holmes delivered on Burbick, you won't see, I doubt you see Burbick doing that little uh, taunting again. I think he uh, understands that Larry Holmes means business. Larry Holmes answered him that time. Right hand lands softly on the cheek of the champion thrown by Trevor Burbick. The fight has been held mostly in the middle of the ring. We're in the second round here, heavyweight championship at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Flicking left jab up on the cheek of Trevor Burbick again. Burbick has that left hand down around his thigh. by Larry Holmes, scores, and Burbick continues to say, come on and fight. Looping right, same punch that scored well last time for Holmes, didn't do so well this time. Close quarters now, the referee will break them. There's a lunging right hand, and a right hand counter punch by the champion. Again, Burbick trying to get under the guard of Larry Holmes, content to try to work on the body, go downstairs. And there's a combination that scores against the champion, right to the head scores. So the
best flurry of the fight so far by Trevor Burbick as we reach the end of round two. Burbick still yelling at his man, Larry. Let's eavesdrop in the corner of the challenger. <laughs> well, he's obviously hyped up tremendously. He just wants a fight for about 75 minutes straight. <laughs> he doesn't want to fight by the rules. He's very excited. Let's see if we can pick up the sound in the corner. trying to tell him to keep calm because all that excitement let's take a look at the there's a right hand an excellent right hand but it demonstrates that larry holmes again as we pointed out earlier is not a great one punch puncher it's an accumulation of punches that usually results in his tko there it is again right on the button a perfect punch and it hasn't seemed to have affected bourbon Almost a social hour for Trevor Burbick. Between rounds, he was waving at one of the ushers who apparently he'd befriended here in Las Vegas, smiling. <laughs> He's having a good time so far. Two quick jabs by Larry Holmes. Burbick again motions him to come at him. Burbick has shown at least he can take the one good punch. Took a good shot right on the cheek from Larry Holmes in round two. We're in the third round. Burbick has such big shoulders that a lot of times that protects him from that overhand right. So uh, Holmes has to really be very, very accurate in delivering that right hand. Again, Burbick working mainly to the body with the left hand. Right hand to the kidneys that time scores by Trevor Burbick. Larry Holmes looking like he's just sort of measuring his man. Burbick steps into him again. Holmes again opens himself to tenth of counterpunch and scores with the right hand. by Larry Holmes and Burbick again says come on at me both men in the center of the ring now fighting flat footed combination of the stomach that time and that's got a smart and Burbick comes back with the right hand of the kidneys of Larry Holmes very to see he can uh, land some body shots on Holmes and I think he, what he should be doing is continue to throw those body shots. And there are two of them right there. Burbick is scoring with both hands to the body of Larry Holmes. But Holmes seems the stronger of the two right now. You have to really appreciate Larry Holmes' speed. I mean, he's really, he, he's as quick as a lightweight. three or four punches sends Burbick reeling back toward the ropes but again he comes away from it seemingly unhurt and again a combination but Burbick comes right back to the stomach of the champion well, so far Trevor Burbick holding his own against the champion of the world At least he's not awed by him, I have to say that. And a right hand there by Larry Holmes, and that doubles Burbick up. Again, a combination. Burbick still saying, come on at me. Burbick looks a little bit stunned right at the moment. Those body shots that Holmes is hitting Burbick with is really bothering him. And I think Holmes is going to buy his time wait for another good shot. Right hand and a left. Scoring in combinations against Burbick now. Burbick comes at him. Holmes continues to bang away back to the ropes. We come to the end of the third round. They showed each other a little bit more respect after that round. Holmes has spent the first two rounds trying to figure out the awkward rhythms of Burbick. He apparently has that down now. He's measured his punching range, and he's looking merely now to start to counter everything that Burbick does. Well, we have more boxing upcoming on HBO. Heavyweight boxing continues with Jerry Cooney and Ken Norton. That all happens on Monday, May the 11th. Live from Madison Square Garden in New York, Larry Merchant, Sugar Ray Leonard, and myself will be there, and it should be a good one. We'd like to have you there, too. Kenny Norton, Jerry Cooney, this is the last straw, I would have to think, for Ken Norton. People saying Cooney may be the biggest hitter in the heavyweight division. There's 
Trevor Burbick. He seems to be coming down. He's settled a little bit now and taking care of business. I don't think there's any question but those shots to the body by Larry Holmes in the last round left their mark in the memory of Trevor Burbick. Well, you know, Burbick is in a little crouch now. He's stooping over because he's trying to protect himself from, himself from that body shot. And again, Holmes works with that flicking jab, most of which actually have been caught by the gloves of Trevor Burbick again. And there's a right hand that scores right across the face, the knees buckle on Trevor Burbick. Larry Holmes, some good, solid right hands in this fight. What Holmes doing now is just picking his shots. You know, he throws his left jab and waits to get uh, a good shot in with the right hand. And an ice bag between rounds up on the left cheek of Trevor Burbick just to try, try to keep any swelling that might occur down. And that's where Larry Holmes has been doing the most damage. You can almost see the champion taking command in the ring now as we reach round four of this championship fight. cut with the right hand by Burbick, a little bit short. That was a very dangerous punch that was thrown by Burbick because he was vulnerable by throwing that right uppercut for a left hook. And it is deceptive how quick Larry Holmes is. Now Holmes is on his toes, now he's moving. This throws the guy's rhythm off, gets him off balance, and uh, a lot of times guys, Holmes is able to score a great deal. That is Burbick's corner now. Burbick trying to force the action, but Holmes gets out of it with no damage done. This particular style now, moving, it's going to bother Burbick. Right hand lead that time by Holmes bothered him. No question about that. And the left jab snaps his head back, and again, Burbick taunts his man. Burbick with a wild left hand comes back as Holmes against the ropes, but scores very little. Burbick now changing styles, really coming at Larry Holmes, almost bullying Larry Holmes. And Holmes just kind of fends him off. Two hands are free. I know Larry Bond said that in the fight against you, Ray, that in order to have any chance, he would have to change his style throughout the fight, just so as he couldn't give you a chance to get set. What's happening now is Trevor Burbick is trying to follow that strategy, and he is being hammered mercilessly by the champion Larry Holmes. A good right hand right to the cheek of the challenger Trevor Burbick or in Holmes corner. The uppercut is going to do the damage because Holmes see this now. And once again, Larry Holmes hammering his man and the two have at each other, verbally have at each other. I'm not sure but the verbal damage that Burbick is not doing is greater than the physical damage. What happened in that round was that Burbick suddenly discovered that shuffling forward at a very modest gait was the ideal thing for Holmes, not for himself. Holmes could just stand there and pick him apart. So in the latter part of that round, he's tried to stay on top of him and take away the distance and the leverage from Holmes. It remains to be seen whether that's walking right into the eye of the, the storm or not. Let's take a look at some of the reruns here, Ray. There you see Burbick trying to stay on top of Holmes in the corner, but he's catching most of the punches. The up cup is doing a great deal of damage. And here, the right up cup on Holmes and the body shots. Reminds me of the ex-heavyweight champion of Canada, George Chivalo. He chased a guy all over the ring, get him on the ropes, and then the guy beat him up. <laughs> well, the two anxious to get out to the center of the ring have to be separated by Carlos Padilla, the referee. They come back at it now. I have a feeling that this is going to be the round. Well, the two anxious to get out to the center of the ring have to be separated by Carlos Padilla, the referee. They come back at it now. I have a feeling that this is going to be the round that Larry Holmes is going to show everything that he has, everything that he possesses. This is round five. And Holmes with a left jab, and that stings. You can see now Burbick just react to almost every punch that Holmes throws. Holmes with a couple of clicking left jabs, and Burbick seems to have slowed down a step. Burbick catches the champion with the right hand on the way in. Holmes is against the ropes as Burbick bangs away to the body and Holmes holds on for a moment. Now here we're going to see a real fight. This boxing match probably turned to a fight. 
the way it looks now. He's got two hands free. The hand off the net. Come on, the hand off the net. Come on. The hand off the net. caught Larry Holmes on the way in, but got a little careless after that. Turned to brawling. Inexperience showing a little bit there, I think. Burbick seemed to be a little winded because I know he threw a right hand that didn't have any snap to it, which shows a sign of fatigue. The chasing, the holding, the clinching, all of this, especially with the big guys, the heavyweights, it wears them down. Aaron Burbick's corner, and the pace for the moment is slowed perceptibly down. Come on, punch your way free. Let's go. Come on. You can hear Carlos Padilla saying, punch your way free. Punch your way free. A couple of good jabs by Larry Holmes. Well, you know, Burbick is reaching now. There's no sting on his punches. Whereas Holmes can release five, six. The head, Burbick. Come on. Get the head out of Let's go. any given moment. Burbick continues up, to try on. to bang away to the body. And there's an uppercut that comes a little bit short. It's one of those ooh and ah punches, but no damage done. And as Ray Leonard pointed out, it's a dangerous kind of punch to throw if it misses because it opens up all kinds of possibilities for counter punching. You probably, from here, you're going to see Holmes do a little counter punching. He's going to wait for Burry to throw and make a mistake, and he's going to capitalize on it. Larry Holmes seemingly in control of the fight here. We're in the fifth round. That punch seemed to have some sting on it from Burbick to the body. Scores. Cut the streak and Jack, cut the streak! There's a right hand right to the chin of Larry Holmes, but Holmes responds right back. Cut for, uh, caught Holmes rather just, just stepping back with that right hand. Cut the streak and Jack! Five seconds near the end of the round here. Trevor Burbick actually has held his own pretty well this round. We come to the end of round five. When you see a big, strong, highly motivated fellow like Trevor Burbick, whatever his record and ability is, coming at the heavyweight champion, and you see that he just doesn't walk out there and win. He's got to work for it. It isn't easy. No matter how easy it may seem when people pick up the paper and read about it tomorrow or see the knockout blow, if there's a knockout, he's having to work in there. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the replays here. You can see the awkward style of Burbick and how difficult it is for a classic boxer like Holmes always to get the measure of him. With all the swinging that Burbick is doing, some of his punches are landing, the majority of them are missing. It tires opponents out, especially the arms. So we go to round six. Trevor Burbick, the challenger. Larry Holmes up off his bed. Waits for the challenger now, and they come to the center of the ring. Holmes gets up on his toes here to start the sixth round. waits for him. Larry Holmes, very tactical fighter. Does what he has to do. Has scored eight consecutive knockouts, so Whatever he's done, he's done right for the most part. Burbick is doing the right thing as far as cutting the ring off and um, trying to fight to Holmes. One thing, he, one, one mistake he can't make, and that is to reach in on Holmes because Holmes can't, has a good uppercut, a good hook, and a beautiful left jab. And in fact, Holmes has scored two knockouts with that uppercut. He knocked out Scott Ledoux with an uppercut. And he also knocked out Mike Weaver with an uppercut. Left hand slaps in on the face of Trevor Burbick. And again. Burbick does a little telegraphing of his punches also when he drops that left hand on him. Burbick's waiting to throw that right hand. He seems to be cocking it and waiting for an opportunity to let it go. 
This is round six here at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas. Home scoring with the jab in this round, a somewhat more degree, higher degree of success than he has in the past. Spins him around, hits him with the right hand, caught him mostly on the gloves. They break right above our microphones now. Verbal continues to press the attack with the crowd. Starts a chant, Larry, Larry. Trevor Burbick scoring pretty well to the body, actually. Well, this is the sixth round, and you have to, at some point, start asking yourself, did right, you expect on, Trevor Burbick to be around this long? Well, always they say a guy like a Burbick can't go the distance with right home. And I think Burbick is destined to do that. He's proved a worthy challenger so far. I know that's an overused spot, but I would have to say so far, Trevor Burbick has been worthy of the shot. It seemed to me in that round, fellas, that Larry Holmes almost resigned himself to say this is going to be a long evening. Bleeping awkward. Yeah. The raw passions and raw language, as fans of HBO boxing know. <laughs> well, providing but this insight. isn't this isn't a tea party. That's right. <laughs> provide an insight that you just don't get a chance to see often or hear often. Part of the game. Low blow and Burbick complains about that. This isn't the Garden Club. <laughs> Carlos Padilla tells him to get some of the grease off the face of Larry Holmes so Tommy's right, Tommy, momentarily Tommy, out here. Tommy. Also gives Trevor Burbick a chance to catch his breath following what he thought was a low blow. And Burbick pours in on the champion now. This is round seven. And there aren't a lot of people around who really thought that this fight was going to go this far. Again, Burbick really fending off Holmes' jab fairly well, catching most of them on his gloves. The way Burbick's body is made by Mother Nature, he has good defense. Big shoulders. Burbick oh. tries to kind of punch there. Catches Holmes up on the shoulder. Two hands are free, Burbick. My two hands. I think you have the neck, Larry. Come on. All right, Burbick, come on. Break on tip. Come on. Don't go from tip back. Clean. Out of boys. Come on. Come on. Pretty good idea of some of the conversation that goes on in the ring by the third man also, Carlos Padilla, veteran referee. Right above us now, and Burbick chases Holmes. Holmes gets out of there pretty quickly. Holmes really is deceptively quick. I've said that before, but I think in a big man, you just don't expect him to be quite as quick as Larry Holmes is. Well, normally heavyweights uh, just rely upon power. And which uh, a guy like a Burbick relies upon strength and conditioning. But his home has speed and good foot, foot movement. Well, I think it's a fairly good bet he's not going to wear down Larry Holmes. He's going to have to keep pressing the action and hope that he can score with a big right hand. Again, going to the body. Scoring fairly consistently to the body is Trevor Burbick. A lot of his shots are lunging kinds of shots, so they make it hard to come back behind a shot. And again to the body. And Holmes gets out of the corner, right above us. All right, one step back, both of you, one step back. Come on, one step back out of there. Come on, Trevor, one step back. Let's go, come on. Holmes caught Burbick with a good, solid right hand in the second round. That buckled the challenger's knees, but since that time, Trevor Burbick has not really been, not really been hurt. Larry Holmes has not really scored a big punch. And all 
of those blows going on the arms, except the right hand of the head that did get in on Trevor Burbank. And both fighters now banging away in Larry Holmes' corner. Holmes getting the better of it right now. Burbank with a right hand with a kidney that time. That momentarily brought the champion's arms down. And now a right hand in the face of Burbank by Holmes. As we reach the end of round seven. And the crowd comes to its feet. the better of it either. I thought that perhaps Burbick did, but the important thing here is that the question no longer is, is the fight going to go any distance? The question is, has Burbick got the tools to do something? Can he win? Let's take a look at this exchange here, because what he's finding, I think, is he's lost. He doesn't respect Holmes' punching power that much, and now he wants to, to crowd him and come in fearlessly, and this is the kind of tactics I think he's going to need to win this to win this fight, to just stay on top of Holmes and pound and pound away. Now as we see the replay, I think we can say that Holmes won that exchange. I would say, I think this is the best technique that Burger can use is to smother Holmes and punch his head. Fight him this way. He's got to decide now, not if he wants to just be here, but if he wants to win here, and how he can do that. So we start round eight. Trevor Burbick very much around. Has not been hurt really since the second round. Burbick has been scoring consistently to the body of Larry Holmes and now looks all business. And again, Holmes jabs being caught up on the gloves for the most part by Trevor Burbick. Now starts to rally to the support of Bourbon. A lot of fans from Canada here at Caesar's Palace. I notice Holmes steps back uh, with his right foot and wants to deliver that counter right hand, but he can never really gain position to let it go. Bourbon continues to stalk the champion. You have to say so far, Burbick is fighting an intelligent fight. I think he's fighting the, the most effective for our tactics and strategy. First to taunt a champion and then to uh, really make him fight, fight his fight. And he's taken some of his best shots, <laughs> which helps in a while. Yeah. He really has managed to fend off the jab of Holmes, which most boxing observers seem to feel is his best weapon. Right hand by Burbick did score, but... Holmes came back with a left hand of his own. Holmes is steady walking around Burbick, trying to get in a very comfortable position so he can really let go of some really effective and damaging punches. Trevor Burbick, considering he didn't put on a pair of boxing gloves until he was 23 years of age, really looks very much the part of a poised fighter. He's had only 20 professional fights. Once again, that was a very dangerous punch thrown. There is a good right hand that stuns Trevor Burbick by the champion. Burbick fights back, though. Stunned him for a moment. Burbick's taking some of Holmes' best shots. And still he comes back at him. A little bit of swelling on the cheek of Trevor Burbick. Doesn't seem to be anything that really would affect him a great deal. I don't think it would affect his vision at all. Sort of a welt up on the cheek. There is another good left hand by Larry Holmes. Burbick fights back again. Holmes jab right at the moment becoming more effective. Burbick lunges in with a right hand lead and the left follow that misses. Come to the end of the eighth round. Trevor's still here. Trevor's still here, but I thought he fought a terrible round right there. He stayed just right there for Holmes, and Holmes hit him with 20 or 25 clean shots. Burbick hardly got to him at all. He didn't learn anything from the previous round, except perhaps that he had to pay too big a price to get in close to Holmes, that when he came to Holmes with all that aggression, that Holmes was there to meet him, and he doesn't want to take that anymore. If he doesn't want to take that anymore, he's going to lose, because he can't beat him the way he just fought him. 
and you hear it in the, in the corner there. Uh, let's see if we can get, get this from Burbick's corner. Okay. If you can't run it, you can't help it Come on, man, make him play. Burbick fought a perfect round for Larry Holmes, and now he's got to find a way to fight a perfect round for himself. Round nine here at Caesars Palace, heavyweight championship. Larry Holmes, the champion on the right, the challenger, Trevor Burbick from Canada. Halifax, Nova Scotia is his residence right now, actually raised in Jamaica, part of the Jamaican Olympic team in 1976. First put on boxing gloves in Guantanamo Bay in Cuba. For Burbick to fight Holmes in the middle of the ring is to his disadvantage because Holmes can outmaneuver him. Holmes has, he's quick of the two. Uh, Burbick's biggest uh, asset is to fight his man against the ropes, smother Holmes' punches, and make him fight his own fight. Well, Burbick now, as he did in the last round, as Larry Merchant said, is back on his back foot and just kind of providing a target for Larry Holmes' jabs, which have become more effective in the last two rounds. He knows home shot you deliver that right up effect. It's getting closer and closer. And that is a big weapon for Larry Holmes, that uppercut. We mentioned he's knocked out two of his opponents, two in the spring of eight, with that uppercut. And again, Burbick is talking to him. Burbick's still talking to him. the kidneys. He's been scoring pretty consistently with that right hand of the body. Again, a right hand of the body by Trevor Burton. Doesn't appear to be slowing Larry Holmes down. Holmes looking to counter punch. And again, the right hand ducks right into the rib cage. Burbick's confidence is steady growing as a round program. Jab that snaps the head of Trevor Burbick back as Holmes gets up on his toes again and just kind of circles his man. Well, those kind of punches by Holmes makes the guy lose his confidence. <laughs> Burbick does seem to have pretty quick hands. He seems to be able to sort of deflect. And there's a right hand lead that again staggers Trevor Burbick. But Burbick comes right back at him and taunts him. And again, the legs started to go. Scores to the chest of Larry Holmes. Burbage is really a showman. I mean, he's taken some of Holmes' best shots, and laughs at him, talks to him, which proves this is not really an easy fight for Larry Holmes, and I'm quite sure as the uh, audience will see it, they know it's a true statement. <laughs> say about that round is that Burbick says hit me hit me and Holmes hits him hits him <laughs> that's right but he didn't hurt him hurt him um, Larry Holmes is a professional he's defending his title he's here to win he doesn't care how he wins and he's fighting very very well if a knockout comes he'll take it he's far ahead in this fight I believe let's take a look at a replay here and watch watch the best prize fighter in the world in the heavyweight division certainly exercise his great talent. There you saw a right followed by a left that staggered Burbick momentarily. <laughs> yeah, we had a look at Diane Holmes, the champion's wife. And we go to round 10. And Holmes, with a little bit out of the Sugar Ray Leonard playbook also, comes right to Burbick's corner. Holmes looks all business this round. But Holmes is a real professional, and um, here is strictly business, man. He's going to start putting his punches together, and uh, they're going to add up. I think Larry Merchant's point is well taken, that Holmes is well ahead of the fight, but 
Herbert has, doesn't have to run away and hide after this fight. I think he did what he had to do, fought the fight he had to fight, just maybe didn't bring enough forces with him. A little bit of swelling under the right eye of Larry Holmes also. goes upstairs and then downstairs. And that jab really has got to ruin your whole night. The left jab is a very important uh, weapon and punch. It blinds the guy temporarily, gets him off balance, which enables you to throw a right hand. And this is what I see Larry Holmes trying to do. We're going to our right hand. Holmes right now scoring with that jab almost. Well, he has a right hand once again with a cheek. Trevor Burbick by the champion. And another right hand slaps the head back, but Burbick taunts him once more. Burbick has taken some good shots. I don't believe it. I mean, Burbick was hit by some very good right hands, and then he's coming straight back. He was set up by the jab of Larry Holmes, which has been very effective in this round. Larry Holmes also has that ability to just give you a different look every time out. Set you up with the jab and then came back two right hand leads, both of which scored. Another reason Burbick is able to absorb a great deal of uh, right hands is because he has that big bodybuilder's neck. Very, very powerful. And again, the left jab right up on the chin of Trevor Burbick. And once more to the cheek and again to the cheek and to the nose short that time. But Holmes seems to have his man pretty well measured right now. And a combination, a left to the cheek and a right to the right cheek. I think at this point now, with the way that Holmes is scoring, it's going to start frustrating Burbick because Burbick can't land a punch now, especially in the middle of the ring. stayed in the middle of the ring almost exclusively. And the round tap. That middle of the ring is perhaps the best and the worst seat in the house because Trevor Burbick is just sitting there and watching Larry Holmes doing a number on himself and he seems helpless to do anything about it. A few rounds earlier, Holmes made an effort, he made an effort to get to Holmes. Let's see that right here. Look at a long, devastating right hand. Burbick shakes it off. It would seem he can't take too many of those punches, but he's taking not enough of them. I guess when he tried to go at Holmes earlier and stay on top of him, he had to pay a price that was just too heavy, and he just doesn't want to pay that price anymore. Well, here's the next time the three of us will get together. That is on May 11th, and we will be ringside at Madison Square Garden for a good heavyweight fight, I think. Jerry Cooney, number one WBA and WBC contender, big hitter, versus Ken Norton. And Ken, of course, could be the last to raw for him. If not, it could mean a title shot once more with Larry Holmes. Burbick is getting impaled by that left jab. He must do something about it. Burbick has already given an award for going. This is the first time he's going past 10, well, went over 10 rounds. And, um... He looks pretty good from that, at this point. Neither man really marked at all so far. Burbick has taken the best that Larry Holmes has to offer. It's really hard to describe the impact of that left jab. You can just feel the snap of it even down here at ringside where we are. standpoint, if Burbick can win or at least go the distance with a Larry Holmes, he's in for bigger and better paydays also. Well, it's easy to lose sight of the fact he only has had 20 professional fights. pretty stationary right now and Holmes just circles him goes downstairs with the jab now comes upstairs last round he would set Burbick up with 
two or three left jabs, and then come with a right-hand lead. Right now, you'd have to say that Burbick is just totally intimidated by Holmes, even though it doesn't look it. Well, he really doesn't know what Holmes is going to throw next. Holmes is so quick. Well, it's almost a teacher-student kind of situation right now. Larry Holmes, of course, the teacher, Trevor Burbick, the student, and there will be something to learn out of this fight for Trevor Burbick. Not to fight Larry Holmes again. That without saying. Once again, the right to the body scores for Burbick, but that's the first time he scored in quite a while. Again, the left jab as Holmes dances around him. Two more left jabs, right on the cheek. Landing within centimeters of one another. It's really amazing how Holmes has measured Trevor Burbick here. In the last two rounds particularly. Burbick pretty much of a stationary target right now. Catch the three, Jeff! Catch the three, Jeff! You get a pretty good idea of just how effective Larry Holmes' left jab is when you look at how effective Trevor Burbick's left jab is. left hand that time. Well, Burbick came right back at him at the end of the round. Perhaps the end of that round foretells what we may see in the remaining rounds. Burbick is here. He's proven that he can stay in with the champion for 11 rounds. Now we ought to see some sort of act of desperation from him. Some kind of a show that he's in a fight to win it. You hear what his trainer just said to him? He can pick you off if you lay back. in the art of boxing in the last three rounds, but Burbick did manage to come back. And Burbick now comes out of his corner and comes out of his corner fighting, trying to move right at Larry Holmes. Keep him off balance a little bit if he can. Let's see what he's got left. Lunges at him now. Burbick again says, come on, come on. Burbick doesn't really have the experience under his belt, but what he has is determination and uh, a good judgment of how he can beat a Larry Holmes. Does not look like a man who's fought 11 rounds. We're in round 12 here. Well, now he's doing what he has to do. The end of that round did foretell. He's coming at him. He's going to throw wildly. He's going to try to upset Holmes' rhythm. He just can't let a man stand there and punch you. Gonna throw punches. Desperation punches. Well, Trevor Burbick has taken the best that Larry Holmes has to offer. Whether or not Larry Holmes has taken the best that Trevor Burbick has to offer remains to be seen over the next three rounds. Interestingly, Burbick has been banging away, Ray, at the kidneys and at the ribs of Larry Holmes the whole fight, and I haven't noticed Larry Holmes' hands come down one bit. Well, they say Larry Holmes is not in Man, tip-top shape. Come on, you guys. You got two hands. Pretty come on. Me. He looks that way to me, too. They have talked about the fact that he sort of had a little bit of a girth. I don't see that. He came in at the same weight as most of his fights, within a pound or so. Well, he's not hitting with his belly anymore. That's true. <laughs> Get him up, Burbick. Get him up. Burbick tried to go upstairs that time with a left hand. Yeah. Burbick can take a pretty good shot. I think that the damage that's going to be done is when Holmes go back to his body. Because he's taking some of Holmes' best shots. Trying to gain leverage. 
and that time sends Burbick reeling backwards by the champion Larry Holmes and another left cross to the chin of Trevor Burbick who covers up and now fights back. And again a right hand as Burbick gets in close another right hand right to the chin of Trevor Burbick who comes right back to the champion. But Burbick's punch is really ineffective and Holmes is scoring with almost every punch. A left hand on the top of the head by Holmes and a right hand on the body. from all angles, all directions. And we come to the end of the 12th round. So Trevor Burbick will be around for at least another 90 seconds, or another, another three minutes. Right now, this is the longest fight that Larry Holmes has fought since he won the title from Ken Norton three years ago. Knockouts, you'd have to say, is very much in danger. Let's take a look at some of the replays of the action there. Holmes threw far more the most effective punches, and here we see Burbank is trying to uh, smother Holmes' punches, and that body shot that was delivered by Holmes did take his toe. So we come to the 13th round. Trevor Burbick still around. I don't think there's a great deal of question as to the outcome of this fight, but nonetheless, I think there's really something to be learned both for the champion and the challenger here. Burbick continues to stalk Larry Holmes, a tactic that he and wise to heed during the middle rounds when he just provided a stationary target for the champion. <laughs> Brevin doesn't throw his jab. He pushes his left jab, which uh, is seen to be bothering Holmes because he pushes him off balance. Holmes scoring with a couple of jabs of his own comes right back with a left hand. And again with the face of Trevor Burbick. Burbick back with the right to the kidneys of Larry Holmes, but not a real effective body punch. You know, Holmes' left jab is like a whip. It snaps. Neither man really showing any marks. Here in the 13th round, Burbick has really taken quite a lot of punishment, but doesn't show any facial rem reminders of it. The right hand there did score by Trevor Burbick, but it was a marshmallow punch. I'm trying to figure out why Holmes is not going back to Burbick's body. He hurt him in the earlier rounds with a, a good body shot that nearly took Burbick out of him. Burbick again tries a lunging right hand and misses by a foot. Burbick's legs still seem to be under him now. Right above us now, Holmes sticks out a right hand. All right, one step back, Trevor. Come on, one step back. Come on, one step back. Come on. seem to slow to step or just taking a blow here in the 13th round. You can hear the crowd now start a chant, Burbick, Burbick. And Holmes started to lead yells and suddenly has to cover up. Once more, Burbick swarms Holmes onto the ropes, but no damage done by either man. Holmes spins him around, sticks out a couple of jabs, comes back with a combination, and there's a right hand that buckles the legs of Burbick as we reach the end of the 13th round. Crowd likes it. Very appreciative crowd here in Las Vegas. There's a two-way feeling in this crowd. One, of course, is uh, simply uh, respect for Larry Holmes and his professionalism and how he's going about against his difficult opponent. 
Let's take a look at some of the action here as Burbick tries to get Holmes into exchange where he just might land a lucky punch, which I think is what this fight has come down to. Well, both men are exchanging punches, but they're not really effective because of the way they're throwing the punches. You know, it's, it's a lot of roundhouse punches, wide, telegraph blows. They're really not that effective, especially for a heavyweight. That other feeling I want to identify now is a growing feeling of respect for the challenger. The mere fact that though he is outmatched, he's taken punishment, Get the water and he's coming water. on and trying his best. We come to round 14. Not tied in. You got two hands free. Come on. All right, come and on. And again, the crowd takes up the chant of Burbick, Burbick. Come on, step back. Come on. Step back. Out of one. Burbick's approach now. He walked through in the last two rounds. I think that you see here, he's going to try to go to work. Burbick kind of laying now on Larry Holmes. Still stalking him, though. Both men seem to have slowed a step here. All right, come on, come on, come back. I want to come back. Come on, I can break the head. Come on. Holmes again continued to just keep the challenger off balance with that jab. Not having a sting that it had in the earlier rounds, but nonetheless just there often enough to keep him off balance. And there is another left jab, and another to the top of the head of Trevor Burbick. And the right hand misses. All right, one step back. Come on, Trevor. Come on, Larry. One step back. Come on, Trevor. Come on, Trevor. Come on, Trevor. Good punch. One step back. Out of boy, watch your head. Come back. Come on. Larry whispered to Burbick, this is it. <laughs> I guess he means it's time to get out of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Two hands are free, Burbick. Let's go. Bang your way out of there. Come on. Again, both fighters now, I think, having slowed perceptively. Burbick gets one left hand into the side of the head of Larry Holmes, but it's an ineffective punch. And comes right back with the left hand again to the side of the head that sends was back to the other side of the ring, but neither punch really packing much behind it. All right, come on, come on, Trevor. Let's get back. Come on, come on, let's punch it, let's punch it. Come on. Hey, come on. Looping left hand misses as Holmes continues to keep his man off balance with the left hand. that Burbank is smothering Holmes' punches and rushing them. It's quite difficult for Holmes to unleash any particular effective blow. Come on, Trevor, bang your way for you. you got two hands. And by the same token, Larry Holmes, of course, has managed to keep Trevor Burbick off balance and off of him, generally. Counter punch with the right hand that time by Larry Holmes off of lunging Trevor Burbick. We near the end of the 14th round. Coming up, tonight's presentations of Apocalypse Now on the East Coast and Central Regions and Special Edition Close Encounters of the Third Kind on the West Coast and Mountain Regions. That'll all begin immediately following the conclusion of tonight's championship boxing coverage from here in Las Vegas. Both movies will be seen in their entirety. Right now, this, right now Trevor Burbick is the Canadian Chuck Wepner, a hero for going this far and a Hero, if he goes the distance, Wepner almost went the distance with Muhammad Ali. Finally got stopped about 20 seconds before the end of the 15th round. Holmes is a little disappointed in his corner. However, before the 15th round of that fight with Ali, Wepner's handler says, listen, if you don't want big cars and beautiful women, we want big cars and beautiful women. Go out and go out and knock this guy out. Wepner didn't do it. Well, you saw the graphic there that showed you Larry Holmes' longest fights. He went 12 rounds with Mike Weaver. He went 12 rounds with Ernie Shavers. He went 15 rounds with Ken Norton. This is it. Final round, regardless of how it goes. Burbank will be a champion, win, lose, the draw. Because Burbank has really shown well. No question about it.
Two minutes and 45 seconds of boxing left here in Las Vegas. It's been an entertaining fight. You got to say that. Step back. Anyway, come on. Trevor Burbick knows he has to go get the champion, and that is a chore that is easier said than done. Larry Holmes wants to really get Burbick out of the ring because I'm quite sure, being a champion and being the quality of champion that he is, he really feels that Burbick has no business getting the same ring with him. Well, Holmes has fought a very, there's no taking away from the champion. Don't mean by crediting Trevor Burbick to discredit Larry Holmes because Holmes has fought a very, very intelligent fight. He has proven that he did not take this fight lightly. He is in outstanding shape just by virtue of the fact of how he is fighting Trevor Burbick here in the 15th round. Holmes is fighting Burbick the best way he can. Fighting a guy like Burbick once again is difficult. It's not an easy task. Less than two minutes left in this fight. The crowd really is showing its appreciation too. And I'd say really it's a bipartisan crowd right now. There's many people in this arena rooting for Trevor Burbick as well, rooting for Larry Holmes. about staying here and punching with this guy. Holmes misses that time with a looping left. That was a right hand by the champion that scores. And a left hand that gets Burbick off balance for a moment. A right uppercut scores on the chin of the champion as Trevor Burbick continues to pound away. Now Holmes comes back at Burbick with a left and a right. Holmes Under the one minute mark now. Larry Holmes is truly a champion. Here he's fighting like a champion. He's got a right hand by Burbick. Scores on the champion's chin. 45 seconds remain in the fight. Crowd is on its feet. It's been a good one here in Las Vegas. A right hand by the champion to the face of Trevor Burbick who's on the ropes now. And both men are tired, but both men fight it out. 33, 32, 31 seconds remain. Right hand spins Burbick into the ropes by Larry Holmes. And another right hand by Holmes as Burbick comes back with his head on the shoulder and a left hand by the champion. They're in Burbick's corner now with 15 seconds to go in the fight. Burbick with very little left now, just pawing at the champion. It's been a great fight here, a championship go that has shown both the challenger and the champion as worthy of one another. It's all over. It is all over, and neither man has anything to bow his head about in this fight, Ray. That was a very interesting fight. Larry Holmes proves he was a champion. Burbick proves that he was a quality opponent and challenger to go in the ring against Larry Holmes. So Trevor Burbick has reason to be proud merely for going the 15 rounds. He held his own. He didn't back off of the man. He did an outstanding job. And on the other side of the coin, Larry Holmes, who I think we'd have to say is the apparent winner of this fight, didn't take a step back. He punched it out in the 15th round with him. He showed himself the champion's champion. And here we see signs of determination by both fighters, the champions Larry Holmes and the challenger Burbick. Both are completely exhausted, but both want to win this fight really big. Burbick knows fully well he's behind on points, and here he just misses with the left hook. Holmes scores the overhand right, and it's just a matter of time right now before the fight ends. It's really reminiscent of the fight with Mike Weaver that Larry Holmes had. They were both standing toe-to-toe -to -toe in the 15th round, too. And listen to the crowd. Burbick, Burbick. That's got to really do your heart good as a fighter. It does. And, you know, both men are going at winning it, and it shows the will and the determination of a champion and a challenger. You look at the champion, Larry Holmes. Now let's go up to the ring announcer, and we'll get the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a unanimous decision. Judge Joe Swessel scores 150-135. Judge Charles Minker scores 146-139. And Judge Lou Tabbitt scores 146-140. The winner by unanimous decision and still the heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes. So Larry Holmes is the winner. He retains his championship. Ray, I would have to say one thing that did surprise me. Scoring is on a 10-point must system here, and that first judge gave all 15 rounds to Larry Holmes. 
Well, I couldn't really agree with that. I think that uh, Burbank won a, a, some of the earlier rounds, but see, the crowds, they're booing and some uh, disapproval of the decision. But Holmes is the champion, and you must be the champion decisively to take his title from him. I think Burbick really did fight the fight that he had to fight to get as far as he did. And maybe it was just a simple case that, as we mentioned during the fight, there just wasn't enough Trevor Burbick. Well, quality always presents itself. Larry Holmes, I mean, he has all the, the, the assets of a great fighter, a great champion. And uh, Burbick, he'll be around for a long time. You made the point, I think, that it's a lot easier to fight as a champion than it is to fight as a challenger. And I think you saw a lot of that tonight with Larry Holmes. That's true. And every time Larry steps in the ring with a guy that they don't consider a threat, then it's all a put on, they feel. All right, right now, Larry Merchant is with the champion, Larry Holmes. Larry? All right, Larry, it's never easy, is it? No, Larry, that's just to show you. They never give our other opponent a chance. This man was strong, very awkward, and I predict a lot of things for this young man. All he had to do is be in shape like he was for me. Are you terribly disappointed no that way, that's man. not your first knockout no. as defense of your title? No, well, he broke the ice. I'm not disappoint, disappointed. I don't think about that anyway. The public thinks of it. I'm just happy that I came out all right and he came out all right. I'm very proud of that. When did you... Also, Larry, I would like to say my boxing gloves that I fought tonight, I want to donate it to some people for the auction off for the black kids that was murdered in Atlanta. And I want to give a little notoriety for the Operation Pusher Jesse Jackson. And I don't say hi to my mom, my kids, and my, all my friends, my friends at my nightclub round one. I don't understand. Larry, have you ever hit anybody harder who could take a punch as he did? No, I, I think I hit a lot of guys harder, and they went. But this guy was in excellent shape. I seen him with Burbick, he didn't, I mean, with uh, Tate, he didn't look that impressive. But I hit him with some hard shots, and this man took all the punches. What about his antics early in the fight? Was he just keyed up? so high that he didn't know what to do in there he seemed to get you a little excited no i want to play the same game that he's playing i'm a professional i am a champion and that's all the time we know you're fighting spinks in may what's after that how do you see the heavyweight division shaping up we don't know we don't know what's going to happen after leon spinks we take one step at a time and whatever happens after leon spinks happens i just want to say again Thank Home Box Office for letting me be on the show, giving the people again the opportunity to see the World Heavyweight Champion, something that the other networks didn't want to do. And they see it again. They missed out on a big one. Thank you very much, Larry Holmes. You've always given us a big one. Now back to Barry and Ray. And thank you for the commercial also, we might say that. Home Box Office, of course, very proud to have this fight. Let's talk for a minute about Larry Holmes and the image of the man. He, of course, has had to follow in a very big shadow, and that is the shadow of Muhammad Ali. And now you can really kind of see him start to become his own man a lot more as champion. Well, I think Larry Holmes, he's, he, he glows with determination and desire to win, and to win in a very classy way. And you heard what he said, you know, he uh, gave Burbick a great deal of credit. I think that's a class act. I think the fact is, and you made the point during the fight, he is not the kind of guy that was would likely knock a man out with one punch. And Trevor Burbick tonight took everything that Larry Holmes had to offer, and he still was standing at the end of the fifth. Burbick was in tremendous shape. He was determined not only to go the distance, but to win. And um, he deserves a great deal of credit. And like I said earlier, he's going to have prosperous and better paydays down the line. What is the attitude that you have to take now if you're Trevor Burbick? You go the 15 rounds, do you just say to yourself, I did the job, I did everything I could at this juncture of my career, now let's go back and work just a little bit harder? Yes, it's a motivating factor to go the distance with a guy, a champion, like Holmes. Uh, he's going to pat himself on the back. I'm quite sure his fans and the boxing people will pat him on the back also. He's going to go back to the gym with so much confidence, it's going to be unbelievable. And let me put the reversal to that now. What do you do or what do you say to yourself if you're Larry Holmes? You went through a thing similar to this. Larry Bonds lasted 10 rounds with you, and I know you're a little bit disappointed in yourself just because of the fact that he did last that long. Now here's a guy, Trevor Burbick, a much less experienced fighter actually than Larry Bonds, the guy that you fought, and he takes the heavyweight champion to the limit. Well, Holmes being the boxing uh, game for so many years, he's experienced that. And sometimes you have bad days, especially styles were meant for each other. Certain fighters have a style that can always make you look bad. Bonds had a style that made me look bad. Burbank had a style to make Holmes look bad.